we're going to begin down in classical Pilates position. So to get there, roll onto your shoulder. Knees are bent to help protect your lower back. And then from this position all the way onto your back. Classical Pilates position simply looks like this. You're lying on your back with your knees bent, feet are planted. We're going to begin here with a brief awareness series to help you get um, more aware of what's going on with your body and your alignment and your breath today. So with that being said, start with your hands by your side and pull your shoulders down away from your ears. Whenever we're doing Pilates work and frankly, um, pretty much any time in our everyday life, you want to create as much space between your shoulders and your ears as possible. So with that in place, drop your chin slightly towards your chest so the back of your neck can lengthen. Then bring both hands to your belly and start to take some belly breath he breaths here. So in other words, see if you can feel your hands rise with your inhales and then fall with your exhales. And as you're doing that belly breath, I'm just going to switch around here because I am looking right into the sun. This will be a lot better. There we go. Take one more belly breath. And then bring your attention from your breath to your pelvis. We're going to find imprinted pelvis. So to get into that position, roll, roll your uh, pelvis forward and back. So what I like to think about is a bowl of water resting on my pelvis. I spill it towards my ch chest, and then I spill it out the other way. And what we're doing here is not only just warming up um, the muscles, tendons, and ligaments around our pelvis, but also um, getting clear about what's going on with our range of motion there today. Now, once you think you've found that range of motion, find the center of it. This position in a Pilates practice is called imprinted pelvis. Now, from imprinted pelvis, let's find imprinted. So to get into imprinted, you're going to visualize that bowl of water again and spill it towards your chest. So in imprinted pelvis, your lower back is grounded. There's no space between your lower back and the floor. You're really zipping up in your belly like you're zipping up a tight pair of jeans. And then keeping imprinted pelvis, bring one hand to the top of your uh, belly, so right on your belly button, other hand to your rib cage, and we're going to try a few rib cage breaths. So on your next inhale, see if you can keep your belly button hands still and try expanding your rib cage out to the side. Exhale, pull everything in like you're tightening a belt. Inhale, belly button hand as still as possible. Exhale, pull in. Keep going like that. So what you'll notice with this rib cage breath is it's very different than the belly breathing we were just doing. Instead of breathing up and down like we did with the belly breath, now we're breathing side to side. Now the benefit of that in a Pilates practice is it allows you to keep your belly button zipping, really engaged, pulling towards your spine without jeopardizing your breath. So in other words, the more you can incorporate this side to side breathing into your Pilates exercises, the more effective those exercises will be. However, give yourself some time to learn it. So this breathing takes practice, so don't be too hard on yourself here if it's a challenge. It is for everyone, especially at first. One more rib cage breath. And then we're going to get right into our exercises today. So stay in imprinted pelvis and pull your knees into your chest. We're starting with the single leg stretch. So bring a, both hands to your knee, extend one leg up so you're in a 90 degree angle, pull twice, inhale, inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, inhale, big exhale. So as you do this, you wanna keep your shoulders down away from your ears like we talked about in our awareness series and your belly button constantly pulling away from your thighs towards the ground. One more set. Good, then you can pull both knees in like this, or if it would feel better, you can drop both feet, let your knees tent in. That's another position that allows your body, especially your lower back, to release and relax. Awesome. One more breath resting. 
the meet me in classical Pilates position, find imprinted pelvis again, and we're going to move into um, a single leg bicycle. So bring your arms out to a T for a little extra support here. Then pull your right knee into your chest, flex your toes. We're going to start with the reverse bicycle. So push out, extend up, pull your knee in. Push out, extend up, pull in. Now as you do this movement, your goal is to keep everything else besides your right leg from moving. So you're really stabilizing and that takes a ton of core strength in order to do. One more this way. Now keep your knee in like this, relax for a sec. And then we're gonna go the other way. So you're gonna extend up, come down, pull in. Extend up, down, pull in like you're riding a bike on your back. Inhale, big exhale. Two more this way. Awesome job. Good, then keep your knee in. Drop down, excellent, take a breath. And you guessed it, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So left knee in, flex your toes, belly to your spine. We'll start with the reverse bicycle, so push out to begin with, extend up, and pull in. Keep going. Now what you want to know here is the bigger your movement and the faster your movement, the more challenging it will be for your abdominal muscles to stabilize. So feel free to adjust that as you need to. And of course, take a break at any point if that's what you need as well. Last one. So keep your knee into your chest, stay. And then reverse directions. So extend up. Go straight down, pull in. Extend up, straight down, pull in. Belly to your spine. Keep breathing. Last two. And last one. Awesome. Knee stays in. Then drop both feet. Let your knees tent in for a sec. All right, you've got one more abdominal exercise to do, and then we're going to shift our focus to the side leg series, which is um, great for not only your abs, but also your legs and hips. So the uh, next abdominal exercise we're going to do, the last one I should say, is a version of what's called the corkscrew. It's a bent leg corkscrew. So find imprinted pelvis. Arms out to a T again for a little extra support, and then bring your knees up right over your hips. Shins are parallel with the ground, and we're going to make some baby circles here. Let's start clockwise. Inhale, and then exhale around. Again, the bigger your movement, the harder it will be. You're trying to keep your upper body as still as possible as you move here. One more this direction. And then pull your knees in for a sec. Take a breather. Keep your lower back grounded. Extend your, or I shouldn't say extend, but bring your legs out. Back to tabletop. Knees over your hips. Lower back is still on the ground. And now we're going to go counterclockwise. Inhale. Exhale around. Big inhale here. And big exhale. Belly button to your spine. We're getting close. Hang on, my chicken friend is trying to get my attention here. Awesome, pull your knees into your chest. She just coming to, to say hello to everybody. All right, great job with the ab work. From here, roll to your side, and we're gonna move into the side leg series. Just gotta adjust my mic here. So, for the side leg series, you're going to line your hip, elbow, and shoulder up with the back of the mat. You can um, bring your head down like this, so you're using your arm as a pillow, and then bring your feet forward to the top of your mat. This hand here is in front of you for a little extra support. Shoulder away from your ear, belly button zipping, hip stacked. We're going to start here with big circles. So kneecap is forward, leg is hip height. On your next inhale, come forward, exhale back and around. You decide how big these big circles need to be. That's totally up to you. Once again, you're trying to keep your torso stable as your leg moves. 
Awesome. Reverse directions. Pull it back. Inhale. Exhale. Come forward. So your number one goal here is control. Last one. Lovely. Take a breather. Bring your knee forward or back if that would feel better, just like this. Next one's called the Rond de Jean. With the Rond de Jean, we're making a triangle in the air with our top leg. And again, the bigger your triangle, the more challenging this will be. The smaller your triangle, the easier it will be. So with that being said, once again, turn your kneecap forward, belly zipping. Inhale, come straight up. Exhale, lightly drop your toe down. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, drop to the back. Inhale, center. Exhale, slowly drop to the front, light tap. Inhale, up. Exhale, slowly drop to the back. You've got one more. Big exhale, come down. Inhale, up. Exhale, light tap. And then drop to center. Bring your kneecap forward, or knee forward, I should say. Rest here. Miss Chicky here is trying to eat my mat. <laughs> I better feed her when I'm done. Okay, we've got one more on this side, uh, the hot potato. So when you're ready for it, again, kneecap is forward, upper body is strong. On your next inhale, tap three times to the front. Exhale, up. You decide how big your lift is. Inhale, two, three, strong. Exhale, up. We've got two more like that. This series is awesome for toning and strengthening your legs and your core. It's also a beautiful one to work on flexibility in your hips. Awesome. Rest. Really lovely. All right, before we move to the other side, we're going to do a little back work. So roll to your belly. Stack your hands. Forehead down, rest here for a moment, and then we're going to move into what's called T-straps, four sets. So to prepare for T-straps, pull your heels together. That's going to engage your inner thighs, which helps protect your lower back. Then bring your arms out to a T. Take an inhale to prep. On your exhale, pull your arms back as far as you can. Palms face each other. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, pull. Arms towards each other. Inhale, back to center, or back to your T, I should say. Exhale, pull. Last one. Inhale, T. Heel squeeze. Exhale, pull. Beautiful. Stack your hands. Forehead down. Rest. And on your next exhale, if it would feel good, you can push your hips back towards your heels to help release your lower back a little bit. From here, roll up. And it's time to switch sides. So line your hip, elbow, and shoulder up with the back of the mat. Feet forward to the front of your mat. You can use your arm as a pillow. This hand is in front of you for extra support. Once again, shoulder down, belly zipping, hips stacked. We'll begin with big circles. So with your kneecap forward, bring your leg hip height. Inhale to come forward. Exhale back and around. Now you might notice here that you need something different on this side. So maybe your circle needs to be bigger or smaller. Check in with that. Reverse directions, pull it back. Swing it forward, strong belly. <sighs> Lengthen your leg out as you go. You've got one more. Then take a break, knee forward. Very nice. Our lovely Rondajan is next, that's the triangle one. So to prepare for it, make sure your kneecap is still forward, hips are still stacked. 
On your next inhale, lift straight up. Exhale, drop straight down, light tap. Inhale up. Exhale down. Keep going like that. Now, the tendency here is to want to let your leg just fall down. And, of course, our goal is to do the opposite of that. Instead of letting it fall, we want really slow, smooth movement on the way down because that requires muscle versus letting momentum take over. Good. And take a breather. Final one, the hot potato. Kneecap is still forward. On your next inhale, tap three times to the front. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap three times to the back. Exhale, lift. Belly to your spine. Jaw relaxed. One more set. Make it good. Inhale, two, three. Exhale, up. Awesome. And rest. Really great. When you're ready, roll to your stomach. We're going to do one final round of T-straps. This is your last exercise in the workout, so give it all you got. Before we get to T-straps, drop your forehead to your stacked hands and prepare for this exercise like we did before by pulling your heels together. Then with your heels squeezing and your belly button pulling towards your spine, bring your arms out to a T. Take an inhale to prep. Exhale, pull back as far as you can. Hold for a sec. Nice. Inhale back to your T. Exhale, pull. Inhale, T. Exhale, pull. One more. You got this. Strong exhale. Then stack your hands. Rest for a moment. You did it. Excellent job. One last time. Push your hips back towards your heels. Let your lower back release. A couple deep breaths. And when you're ready, come up to a seated position, and we will call it a day. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you found this content helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Also, if you're wondering how to become healthier, I've created a free masterclass for you that is truly your ultimate wellness guide. It's called Fit and Fabulous for Life, seven secrets that'll help you find your healthy living sweet spot. If you're intrigued, you should see a link to it on your screen now. You'll also find a link to it in the description box of this video. Thanks again for tuning into this video, and I hope you'll consider checking out my free Fit and Fab Masterclass.